In order to keep up with rapidly changing business needs, many solutions require software code to be written by developers or employees with deep programming knowledge. SAP Business One delivers the ability to easily add additional data fields and write customized business processes without complex coding by using user-defined fields and formatted searches. Let's take a look at exactly how this can be done utilizing the SAP Business One business partner functionality. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open one of my business partner master data records. So let's say for example I've just decided in my organization that I would like to start applying a loyalty bonus scheme for my customers. So there's a couple of things I need to do. I need to be able to track what level of uh, loyalty bonus my customer is at and I also need to track how many loyalty points they've got. So how do I go ahead and do that? Whereabouts in the SAP Business Partner Master Data can I track it? Well let's go ahead and we'll call up an existing record. So here's Alpha Corporation. You can see I have my general information about, uh, about this particular customer. Now I could go ahead and I could change the, the description of one of these fields and I could use that to store the information. But right now I'm using all of the fields that are available to me. So what I'd like to do is add some new fields. This is the purpose of user-defined fields. How do I do that? I simply, if I have the user rights, go ahead onto my tools. I go to my user-defined fields and I choose manage user fields. This now opens up a new screen for me where I can specify whereabouts in SAP Business One do I want to add these user fields. So right now I'm going to select master data and I want to go ahead and want to add my user fields in my business partner. So where do I want to add those user fields? Do I want it to add it to the business partner, to the business partner addresses, or the contact persons? Well, right now, I'm going to choose business partner. So very, very quickly and very, very simply, I can just choose add. And now it asks me for the name of the field. So I'm going to call this loyalty level. And my description will be loyalty level. Now, it then asks me what kind of field do I want. In this particular case, I'm just going to make it an alphanumeric field. It's going to ask me what's my structure, and this is determining the format of the data. I'm just going to make it regular. And I'm going to set some valid values for the field. So I've decided I'm going to have a silver, a gold, and a bronze uh, level. So I just go ahead and I say new. And I'll say B for bronze. I want to add another value, which will be S for silver. And I want to add another value, which will be G for gold. And then I want to specify my default value for this field is going to be bronze. I go ahead and I choose add. Now the system's just warning me that I've made a change to my database structure. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to check to see if there are any other users in the system currently. So I'll go ahead and say, yes, that's OK to make that change. And I say, OK. Now, if I open my business partner master data now, and I look at my company, my customer, Alpha Corporation, all I need to do is to switch on the user-defined fields view. And you'll now see I have a new field called loyalty level. I can go ahead and now specify that, that Alpha Corporation are a silver customer, and I go ahead and choose Update. So you can he see how quick and easy it is to add that kind of information. Now, if I end up with many user-defined fields, I also have the capability to categorize those, so I can group those user-defined fields together to make it easy for my uh, people to work with.